Hey, this is Randall King, and I want my Coke TV. I've seen you lay honky tonk, the way you slip that neon off. Austin, Texas Country, Coke FM, live from Coke Fest 2022, Eric Rains. 22. Randall King, we, we put our sunglasses on. I feel cooler, though. That's because I wear my sunglasses at night. And then Randall has his sleeves all. We up. got, man, we got no sleeves. And you were doing squats earlier, so I went and did some squats, yeah, too. Yeah, man. did the knee bends. Me and Bebby are doing a challenge called 75 Hard. Uh, so with two workouts a day and all, all sorts of other little things you got to do. And you got to do each step or you got to start over on day one. You got to do 75 days straight. So we ain't going to let no 100-degree weather out here stop us on, on our progress. No, y'all were doing some kind of hard cardio exercise in the midst of 180 degrees surface Ooh, of the sun. Oh, yeah. We were sweating it out. Uh Number three, Coke Fest for you? This is number two. Number two? Mm-hmm. Um, I believe we were supposed to we were supposed right. to do 2020. That's right. And then, you know, COVID and whatnot. So That was the year. I always make up a lineup that it was supposed to be like George Strait was supposed yeah. to do that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've had some major milestones here lately, and I've enjoyed. I Last time we talked, you were in the midst of a family reunion. Yeah, um, I'm wearing my family reunion shirt right oh, now. Oh, you are. Yeah. That's Just why the cut in an old Fowler family reunion, so yeah. somewhere maybe your your kin. To, I wore my not, I, you know, that's, circa nineteen ninety six Kevin. Like Kevin Fowler. Yeah, you look like Kevin. I don't today. know if I'm kin to Kevin. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume maybe somewhere down the line. But taking it as it comes, learning as I go. We talked about you you getting to do the Grand Ole Opry, and not a dry eye when you did it. It would be my honor to ask you about the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> To come out what? and make yourself more famous than you already are. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, talk about that because to me it was one of the highlights for me as a fan of your music. And I remember six, seven years ago we were at Music Fest and I looked over and I said, if you can keep away from the women... <laughs> You are going to be the next star in our scene. And as I'm saying that, all your management group is looking at me, and they're all shaking their head, yes, if you can. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you can. It sounds like you found, you found the right woman. Yeah, man. And you're on the right track. But getting to do the Grand Ole Opry, I could tell what it meant to you and your family. Man, honestly, the Opry was um, it's just one of those moments that come full circle that you'll never forget, man. It's a... It's something me and my daddy dreamed up when I was a kid. We wrote out goals of what I was going to get to do, and the Opry was uh, one of the one of the bucket lists on there. And uh, surprisingly, there, there's there's several other other venues that we named off there, and I've checked all, almost all of them off. Uh, there's a couple that we still we're still on the list that we'll hit. Which one? Let me hear. Uh, one is Crystal Palace, and, and we're projected to be able to go there on our California run Home in a couple of months. Owens. So yeah, man. So I'm hoping we get to do that. I hope, I hope that contract comes through. Uh, that'll get. I'll check that off the bucket list. Uh, man, there's 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 a lot. I think uh, on Madison Square Garden. That's like everybody's everybody's goal. So it was funny. Larry Fleet just walked in here and sat where you sat, and he said the first arena that I ever played. He went out on tour with I think Morgan Wallen. Morgan, yeah. And he played Madison Square Garden. Damn, that's, that's, a, hell of a, that's a hell of a first arena. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, the Grand Ole Opry making your dad, or he, I'm sure you didn't make him, but the fact that you kind of pushed him in that circle to, yeah, to sing a little bit. Yeah, man. So uh, it's not my first time to push him in the circle first. Yeah. Uh, I got to stand in it at sound check, so I got I got to stand there. But you know, it's it's not the same. Like the first time you stand in the circle, like. Yeah, you know, it's just it's like I got a little practice run, you know. But it's still it's still surreal. And but the moment you step out there in front of that crowd, knowing why you're there and the reason you're in that circle, it just it hits different, man. And I knew Daddy would appreciate it. So you know, right after sound check, they came up and did an interview, and I pushed him out there, and uh, he got to do the same thing at the Ryman. I, I never I didn't stand in the circle at all. We opened for Cody Johnson, and at sound check, I wouldn't even go up there, and. I, after we got done, I sent Dad up there, and me and my sister Leanna, we filmed him, and he got up there and he sang some Hank Senior, because that's what, that's what he sang right. to us in the truck growing up, and because uh, he always had a Hank Senior cassette tape in, and uh, you know, that's something I'll never forget. And at the Opry, it's, it's, he did the same thing. He got up there and sang Cajun Baby for my sister, you know. So 
when you sing I'll Fly Away in the Circle, you know that your you're lot, it's clear there was a lot of your, your family, friends, fans, all there. How the heck did you hold that together, knowing that all the weight, and your sister was there clearly with you as well? Oh, man, you know, uh, it's one of those deals where you just, you just try not, not to let your emotions get the best of you, and and uh, I was there for a reason. I was there for a purpose, and I had a statement I was going to make and make sure that, you know, that it was it was branded in there. And for me, uh, it was for my sister more than it was for me. You know, I made I made that whole event about her, and I had a job to do. So, and you did it. Yes, and sir. I loved your shirt too. You pulled Thank that you. one out since Thank then. You. Are you wearing it tonight no. on Coke Fest stage? Oh yeah, oh yeah. In yeah, hundred ten degree yeah, heat, the, the black suit <laughs> with the yellow roses. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> You know how hard it is to put together a, a festival, King Fest. Yeah. That's coming up really soon. Yes, sir, it is. And uh, I know you haven't announced the lineup. I'm not going to ask you to. Yeah. Uh, well, I can't. We, yeah, we I'm won't not going to ask you to do it. We won't announce the lineup. Is uh, the date set yet? Yeah, man. So we listening? actually, we've been holding off. Uh, we've been holding off the date because of Coke Fest. So now that we're here, now that we're playing Coke Fest, I can officially say when the announced date of King Fest is, right? Absolutely. Cool. All right. So you heard that you heard that first from from Coke FM Eric Rains right here. That's the uh, contracts are void at this point. Uh -oh. So now it's my fault. Yeah. So October fifteenth. October fifteenth King Fest announced. King date. Fest. King Fest. Yes sir. It's hard to put together your own festival. Then you realize how hard these are. Yeah, man. It's a lot. You know, fortunately with us, uh, it being out of Lukenbach, right. uh, they're they're already set up as a venue. They have their outdoor stage that's permanent there. Uh, and they they run all the vendors, the all the security, the bathrooms, everything that's gotta go into a festival. So it's it's been really helpful to just do it at a venue versus a big ass open field yeah. where you gotta bring it all in, oh, you know. Yeah. So And I hope the weather treats you and right. And hope the weather yeah, hope the weather it's is good. Scary. Last year we so last year we did it in November and I was terrified that it was gonna either snow or rain. Uh, you just never know with with Texas in November. You don't know what it's yeah. gonna do. So and, but it turned out to be like the most beautiful, perfect weather you could have asked for, man. It was it was incredible. We will mark it on our calendars. King Fest Come coming on. up October the fifteenth. I will tell you at least one person on the line. Right, one person. Uh, me. You know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think, honestly, me. Yeah. Am I doing it? Yeah, All right. John just on. said, yeah, he asked yeah, me to do it. Yeah, I would love yeah, to do it. Yeah, you're out there. Uh, King Fest, October the 15th. We'll have more as that gets closer. you got to get get on, get on your Superman outfit on, get yeah. off on the stage. Well, I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. we got the George and the boots today. It's a hot one. So. Last thing I'll say, you have sported our Coke Fest T-shirt everywhere oh, yeah. you go from the uh, video you did where you took your clothes off. Was that in Louisiana? <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot I was wearing my Coke Fest shirt for this. Yeah, that was Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Yeah, I was decked out as uh, Ricky Bobby in the Talladega Nights outfit where he's running around. I'm on fire. Yeah, man, we threw all my clothes off in the middle of the street. Coke Fest. And then I got I got COVID right after that, so I, I probably picked it up off the street. Thanks. But or At least that's the only thing you picked up off the street. <laughs> Well, when you get off stage, there's a whole box of Coke Fest t-shirts. We appreciate you. Heck yeah, man. Randall hey. King.